Hello, everybody, and welcome back once again to Kaplan USMLE Step 1 QBlast. I am Dr. Jason Fernasiak, and we are here again this week with another clinical vignette. These clinical vignettes, we go from beginning to end, review right and wrong answers, and high-yield take-home points, which will improve your scores on the boards and help you take better care of patients on the wards. We're going to jump right into our clinical vignette. A 40-year-old female comes to the physician because of epigastric pain, especially after meals. Vital signs are within normal limits. Physical examination shows multiple angiofibromas and lipomas. There's mild epigastric tenderness with deep palpation. Laboratory studies show hypercalcemia and elevated serum parathyroid hormone. Exploratory surgery of the neck shows diffuse hyperplasia of all four parathyroid glands. Which of the following laboratory studies is most appropriate to confirm the likely diagnosis? Is it A, pentagastrin-stimulated calcitonin secretion, B, serum epinephrine, C, serum gastrin, D, serum norepinephrine, or E, urinary epinephrine to norepinephrine ratio? The correct answer here is C, serum gastrin. We are dealing with multiple endocrine neoplasia, or MEN. We're gonna review some key facts of the multiple endocrine neoplasia type one and two. Both men type one and men type two A can present with parathyroid hyperplasia. However, angiofibromas and lipomas are more typical of men one than men two A. Men one is associated with pancreatic and duodenal endocrine tumors and endocrine hyperplasia. Gastrin is the most commonly secreted product of the pancreatic and duodenal endocrine lesions. This can lead to peptic ulcers, which is what this patient is presenting with. Pituitary adenomas can also occur with MEN1. Some of our high yield takeaways here. MEN type 1 is characterized by the development of multiple tumors, which often secrete hormones. Parathyroid hyperplasia and or parathyroid hormone secreting adenomas. Pancreatic and duodenal endocrine tumors, most often gastrin secreting, but less oftenly insulin secreting or glucagon secreting. And pituitary tumors, which can secrete prolactin, growth hormone, or ACTH. While both MEN1 and MEN2A have parathyroid hyperplasia, multiple angiofibromas and or lipomas are seen more commonly with MEN1. So that's going to be our clinical vignette for this week. I am once again, Dr. Jason Fernasiak. I hope you have learned something to help you improve your scores on the boards and take better care of patients on the wards. We'll see you again real soon.